Aloha everybody, I'm here on the big island of Hawaii, Kona side, and I'm specifically at Keala Kikua Bay. And right over here is where the historic battle between the native Hawaiians and Captain Cook and his men took place. I actually swam in this water and people say that dolphins come here often. But um, I first came here in 2019 and I immediately jumped in the water, swam around. Uh, it was quite nice. I could instantly feel the energy and the mana of the aina and the ocean and I wanted to christen myself in the purifying waters of Hawaii. I always feel that it's good that when I visit a new island that to jump in the water and feel the water because water has a lot of memory and uh, emotions and um, it's alive and when I came here I saw a local Hawaiian uh, historian talking to other locals and he was explaining that Hawaiians um, know about uh, a mo'olelo or a story, an ancient Hawaiian story, legend, whatever, whatever what, do you, what have you, that this actual location that you see behind me, it's like wet and it's like a little swampy area. Um, in Hawaii, ancient Hawaiian times, this was a pond and it was said that a mo'o or moko um, lived in this pond. And what that is, is the ancient Hawaiians said that those were lizard or reptilian what we would think as reptilian beings and um i've actually seen a, a tiki of one at the bishop museum in honolulu and um they're described in the museum that they had hands and feet and a body like a man but a head of a lizard so they were like lizard people or what some modern um, UFO people say today, reptilians. But the ancient Hawaiians called them mo'o and moko. And right here, um, there's a keep out sign, part closed. But supposedly that these uh, mo'os or reptilians were often found near the entrance of caves or water sources, or could be seen near ponds, and that's often because water comes up through caves and out of waterfalls and out of caves and lava tubes and ponds are near um, cave entrances a lot of the times and some people say that these mo'o or moko um, live under the ground and Hawaii has a lot of lava tubes intricately um, connected throughout the island chain that you can walk through and so um, some say that these reptilians or mo'os lizard people come up from out of the ground and that's why you see them outside guarding water sources and guarding the cave entrances and what a lot of cultures did and what the Hawaiian legend was that this gentleman was explaining what I heard was is that they would bring children here and people here um, to sacrifice to the mo'o and the idea was that if they brought someone here for the lizard man or the lizard people to take away or eat um, as a sign of sacrifice that perhaps that that Mo'o would then leave the nearby village alone. So kind of like a payment. So sometimes children, sometimes people were often sacrificed here. And in Japan, there's a legend of the Kappa, which is like a turtle, um, rep another reptilian type of a person that you can also find in ponds. And there's stories of Kappas in Japan kidnapping children. But this is Hawaii. And um, just like Japan, just like um, ancient medieval Europe, even King Arthur's men were battling dragons uh, at the mouths of caves and entrances. And um, Hawaii definitely has a lot of underground caves and underground water systems and springs and rivers. So perhaps this island is full of what you would call um, reptilian or inner earth entrances for these mo'os as the Hawaiians called them. They called them mo'os. But maybe that's why 
when the Hawaiians knew that this was a place of sacrifice, that they could feed people to these mo'o in an agreement to be left alone. Maybe that's why when the Hawaiians decided to fight Captain Cook, maybe they intentionally chose this spot and lured Captain Cook's men here in the hopes that if they could kill some of the men or even Captain Cook himself, that the mo'o would then have the sacrifice that they needed. So maybe that's a part of history that uh, is left out of the books, but maybe if we can combine the ancient Hawaiian legend with what we know that's written by the Europeans, maybe things make a lot more sense as to why places happened at certain times and places. But anyways, guys, um, I finished. By the time you see this video, I will have finished my UFO report on Hawaii. So if you love this story or want to see more like it, and you want to see the picture of Hawaii UFOs past, present, and future, over 500 cases in Hawaii of UFOs, free PDF download at the website www.uncorruptedtruth.com link will be in this video link will be in the description and it's all free you download the PDF you can hear more stories like this so I hope you guys enjoyed and yep stay smart stay safe my name is Ian aloha peace mahalo thank you